I'm always the survivor. Why, wolf? Onicon, take care of the hostages. What about you guys? We got other arrangements. Huh? There's our ride out of here. Anyway, we're gonna have to sink that thing if the virus doesn't work. I should be going with you. You've got your job, we've got ours. You mean, I'd only get in your way? Wrong. Only you can save those hostages. Got it? Right. Listen, the two of you won't be able to destroy that thing. Eliminate the enemy, that's your only option. to get as many hostages out as you can. It's a short flight to the shore, so don't worry about overloading the cam off. <laughs> Leave it to me. alone. Always. We only wanted to be loved. We were always waiting. Waiting for somebody. Somebody who would love us, but we were wrong. You can't wait to be loved. You have to go out and find it. Four years ago, I realized that you can't just wish for a happy family. You have to make it happen. I only wish I knew that sooner. I learned that I could love, as you probably did, Emma. You think he's gonna be okay? He's tougher than he looks. Consider it done. Now, how do we open this thing? You can come out now. A ninja? What the? Arsenal's going to take off. We still need you to take care of a few things. This time, do not fail us. Snake, what's this all about? Bedtime, Raiden. I wouldn't do that. You're changing sides now? Change sides? I don't recall saying I was on yours. Damn it.
ready for some shut eye. Well that is some crazy ass shit. So, it turns out that Otacon, the Jack, are you reading me? The nerdy Do you guy. Want to save your mission data up to this point? The nerdy guy who seems like he has no luck with ladies ends up having a relationship with his stepmom and kind of has a stepsister that's also in love with him. So, some really strange stuff going on there. But yeah, that is uh, Otacon and his sister's kind of dark history. Your mission data is Okay, been I think saved. there's more cutscenes. Is he still, Is he alive? still alive? He was he when Olga brought him in. I've checked I've everything, checked including the genome, genome data, data, but there's nothing there's on this guy. guy. NSA, NSA, CIA, CIA FBI. FBI. He doesn't exist in any database. He's a non-existent operative from a non-existent organization. I suspected as much. However, I know this man. Hmm? Wake him up. It's been a while, hasn't it? Jack the Ripper. You know this fellow? You remember me, don't you? You've grown. <laughs> High concentration of cerebral implants. Have they altered your memory, too? <laughs> This is my son. I taught him everything. Jack, I never thought I'd see you again. You know me? You don't remember. Your name, your skills, everything you know, you learn from me. The 80s, a civil war. You were one of the best among the child soldiers that fought in that conflict. When you were barely 10 years old, you became the platoon leader of the small boy unit. At the time, your outstanding kill record earned you several nicknames, including White Devil and Jack the Ripper. Jack, I was your godfather. I named you. When the war ended, you disappeared from the relief center. I wondered what happened to you. I should have known they would recruit you. It's an interesting coincidence. If he's a lackey for the Patriots, I doubt he knows anything of interest. What should we do with him? We'll use him like you suggested. What about Dead Cell? Ignore them. <laughs> Have 
happening again? Could it be that he's here too? <laughs> In another hour, we demonstrate the power of Arsenal gear. Attack with standard weapons, of course. Yes, proceed as planned. At last report, all is well with GW. Hmm. How about the troops? The men are being refitted with Arsenal gear equipment as ordered. You're the spitting image of Big Boss. <laughs> Is that so? Perhaps I should be grateful to this kid for that. This situation, I find it very nostalgic. Where am I? Why, inside Arsenal gear, of course. Actually, we're also inside the memory of Shadow Moses. I'll take this back. You don't need this anymore, do you? A foul wind is blowing. We shall speak again. Don't move. Stay as you are. We're being monitored by a camera. What are you up to? I'm switching over to nano communication. Mr. X? Ninja? Correct. It's me. I thought you were the leader of the Russian troops. No, that was just a smokescreen. A smokescreen? I was sent to provide you support. Support? Who sent you? The Colonel? No, the Patriots. What? I... I deceived my troops, betrayed them. But why? My child is being held hostage by the Patriots. It all started two years ago when I lost my father during the tanker incident. My men and I had nowhere to go, so we joined forces with an illegal Russian organization. The Russian Mafia? Something like that, actually. I learned much later that it was a subordinate organization of the Patriots. I was expecting at the time. When I gave birth to my child, it turned out I was in a hospital run by the Patriots. In the morning, my child was gone. My baby is being kept somewhere in this country. Have you ever met your child? No. Once a month, they send me a photo of my child via network. I've never even held the child in my own arms. I see. Given your situation, nobody can blame you for what you did. That's your opinion. What about Snake? I thought you were enemies. He wasn't responsible for my father's death. Actually, we owe him our lives. Two years ago, they were responsible for getting us out of the sinking tanker alive. So you were partners since the incident? No, I only found out the truth shortly before this. Huh? When I confronted him here. You fought with Snake? When? Well, it was around the time you were holding hands with that girl. Snake. So you joined hands with him to pay back a debt? No, mutual gain. Mutual gain? My job was to assist you. If Solidus gets away with Arsenal, your mission is a failure. The Patriots would judge that as failure on my part and terminate my child. Putting it simply, my child's life depends on your success. So you did it all for your child. But why would the Patriots want to help me? Are they hoping I'll take Solidus out? No, you're just like me. We're just pawns. Pawns for what purpose? The S3 plan. Huh? You'll figure it out sooner or later, but I wonder if you'll handle the truth. What do you mean? Listen, we haven't got time for this. Solidus will commence his attack any minute. He's got to be stopped. What about the virus? No results so far. I think the Patriots have tampered with the program. Will it work? I don't know. Get me out of this thing. Not yet. I'll release your restraints after I leave this room. Where's my gear? 
Snake's got everything. I couldn't bring it here. And where do I find Snake? The passageway ahead leads to a hangar. He'll be waiting there. I gave him a card key for the hangar. Does Snake plan to destroy Arsenal gear? No. Even for Snake, it's impossible to completely destroy this thing. The only option is to stop Solidus and his men. What are you going to do? Stay concealed. That's my role. I still can't afford to be discovered. Olga, you can't keep this up. They're bound to find you. Listen, I'll free you in a little while. Brace yourself. <clears throat> Jack, are you all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Jack, is it true? What Solidus said? Yes. It's unbelievable. Drafting small children, sending them to war? It's not allowed under international conventions. ICC rules don't mean a lot in war. Someone told me that there are over 300,000 children in combat right now. I was just one of them. So you remember? I thought your memory had been manipulated by them. It was, but I have nightmares every day. Pieces of the past I can't put together. Why didn't you tell me? You couldn't begin to understand. You wouldn't know that until you try me. I didn't want you to get hurt. <sighs> there was never a real reason for me to fight, except that someone put a gun in my hand. And that someone was him. It wasn't your fault. If I survived the day's fight, I was praised, fed, and had a bed to sleep in. I think I was only six when I held my first AK. But I'm not even sure of that. Jack. I'm not like Snake. I never questioned why we fought. There was no purpose, no way out. They give you a gun, you ask how many to kill. If you didn't, you were the one they shot instead. It's okay. No one is blaming you. We were shown Hollywood action films every day. The kind with macho guys and big guns. They call it image training. Ugh. They... they built us from the ground up into killing machines. We were fed once a day. I can still taste the gunpowder they mixed into the food. Gunpowder? In the food? The gunpowder had toluene in it, giving it hallucinogenic properties. It kept us drugged, controllable. Oh my god! <laughs> when the Civil War ended, those of us who survived were taken in by NGOs. They gave me a new life in the States. I can't complain. But nothing's changed. The only people who have no problem with my past have secrets and agendas of their own. Terrible nightmares. Every night. I can never forget. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> I'm afraid of the night. That's why I don't sleep next to you. You should have told me. <laughs> told you what? That I'm a killer? And always have been? No. No. What I hate more than anything else in the world is my own past. I didn't want you or anyone to know about it. <laughs> now I know why I was chosen for this mission. No one can take him on, take him down, except me. I've been kept alive this long for this. I knew as soon as I saw Solidus. Jack, I love you the way you are now. You have to believe me. <sighs> I didn't know anything about you, I admit that. Where you were born, how you grew up. But I know that now, and I know that what I feel for you can only get better. And I'll share in your past if that's the price. It doesn't work that way. No one can share the burden of what I've done. 
It's not one of those warm and fuzzy things couples share. I accept the good and the bad, Jack. That's what you do for someone you love. I don't want to share my past with anyone. I just want to forget about it. Jack, I haven't told you, you know, about what I've done. <sighs> the last two years with you, it's been more than I've ever hoped for. Jack. But I can't go any farther. I know you want to get married. I... But I can't. I can't risk starting a family. There's no way to erase my childhood. <laughs> it's all right, Jack. Please, don't say any more. Okay, so we have some more dark history there. And this time we have Raiden, so... He is as, he's not as much of a, a pansy as we thought. He's actually got quite a hardcore fighting past as a, as a child soldier. And we also found out Olga's stake in the game. And that's going to become even more understandable in MGS4. But for now, we're pretty much at the final chapter now. And we need to rendezvous with Solid Snake to get our stuff back. And that's pretty much going to be the beginning of the end, really. Raiden, do you copy? You must continue your m mission. I've lost all my gear. I need to locate Snake. He was never factored into the simulation. Leave him out of this. I can't do much naked, especially in this temperature. That's true. You won't be able to attack or enter the hanging mode either. I think Snake has my gear. Raiden, take out Solidus and his men. You must recover Arsenal intact. Colonel, are you under orders from the Patriots? Your role, that is, mission, is to infiltrate the structure and disarm the terrorists. My role? Why do you keep saying that? Why not? This is a type of role-playing game. The point is that you play out your part, and I expect you to turn in a perfect performance. Colonel, I just remembered something. What? That I've never met you in person. Not once. Hmm. Complete your mission according to the simulation. Colonel, who are you? No more questions. We have Rosemary. What do you mean by that? Over and out. Okay, so we've... The virus has kind of been uploaded into GW and the colonels started to get very weird. And things are only, only going to get weirder, unfortunately. Hey, Jack. So, I mean, that's, that's weird as well. He says we have Rosemary and then... Rosemary seems fine. So I'm going to save here and um, we'll continue from here in the next part. And be warned in advance if you've not played this game, things are going to get seriously weird. Jack, I was serious when I said I wanted you to propose to me. Rose? I was really worried. There are times when it seems like you're not really looking at me and that if I looked away for a moment, you'll disappear. I wanted to make sure you couldn't get away. I thought that if we lived together, maybe things would change. That maybe we could change things ourselves. <sighs> but that wasn't the problem. There was something deeper. I'm sorry. I guess it's impossible for me. W what are you saying? I'm sorry, Jack. I love you. I really do. Please believe me. Whatever happens. Rose? Bye, Jack.